contact mechanics for multibody dynamics, contact search and detection. Contact mechanics is very important area of multibody dynamics. Geometric interferences must be detected and reflected in the equations of motion. The contact detection consists of two parts. The first part is the global search, which roughly finds out a contact region. The second part is the local search, which finds the exact location of a contact. A geometric volume of a body is divided into many multi-level subdomain boundary boxes to carry out the contact detection. The surfaces of the contact bodies are represented by triangular patches. When two bodies are approached into a contact threshold distance, a binary search of subdomain boundary boxes is triggered. To find out which and which subdomain boxes are overlapped. Once overlapping subdomain boxes are detected, a local search begins. The first step of the local search is to check whether a point of an action body and a triangular patch of the corresponding base body are in a contact or not. All combinations of points and patches belonging to the overlapping subdomain boxes must be checked not to miss any contact point. Since the real geometry is slightly different from the triangular patches, it is important to have some buffer distance before a contact detection flag becomes true. Contact surface representation. There are two types of the contact surface representation. One is to use the triangular patches which are generated from a contact body surface. Nerves representation of a solid geometry is used to generate a set of triangular patches. The number of triangular patches must be large enough to represent the original smoothness of the nerves representation of the solid geometry. Since a triangular patch is flat, a quadratic polynomial smooth surface equation is generated by using the normal vectors at three points of a triangular patch. Two quadratic surfaces of two adjacent patches are continuous only in position level and discontinuous in tangent level. The other type of the surface representation is the original knob surface. This is more accurate surface representation and can be used only for rigid body. If a body is deformable, this option cannot be used. Finding exact contact position. A surface equation is parameterized by two independent parameters along two orthogonal directions of a surface. Tangent directions of the surface can be obtained by taking partial derivatives of the surface equation with respect to the independent parameters. Uh, contact conditions are satisfied when the distance vector of two contact positions and tangent vector of the two points are orthogonal. When a node to surface contact option of ANSYS motion is used, two contact conditions can be defined. The contact condition equations contain two unknown surface parameters. The surface parameters can be found by solving the two contact condition equations. Since the contact condition equations comprises two nonlinear equations, Newton's method is used to find the surface parameters. When surface-to-surface -surface contact option of the ANSYS motion is used, four contact condition equations are formed and solved for four surface parameters. The distance between two contact points of a pair of contact bodies is defined to be a contact penetration depth. Since the contact conditions may be satisfied by a point on the other side of the contact surface, a contact does not produce any penalty force when the penetration depth is larger than a specified maximum penetration depth defined in contact geometry tab. Contact penalty force. 
A penalty method is adopted by ANSYS motion to account for the contact mechanics. When a contact is detected, two forces are generated along the normal and horizontal directions. The normal force consists of the penalty force proportional to the penetration depth and the damping force representing energy loss during a contact. The penalty force is calculated by contact stiffness and penetration depth. An exponent of the penetration depth is used to replicate the increase of the stiffness as the contact area and the penetration depth increase. Damping coefficient is made a function of the penetration depth. To prevent a sudden damping force at the entry and exit of a contact. The damping coefficient increases as the penetration depth increases. The damping coefficient reaches at specified damping coefficient when the penetration depth is larger than boundary penetration specified in damping of contact characteristic tab. The tangential force is calculated by basically Coulomb friction method and the slip condition. The friction coefficient and slippage relationship is defined as in the figure depending on with and without the friction model. Aerial contact method. Aerial contact method is used for a model whose contact stiffness must be increased as the contact area is increased. Non-contact troubleshooting. It is often observed for a contact pair to pass each other without contacting. This happens when a node does not recognize a surface because the number of the node is very little compared to the large surface area. Internal node option may be used where the number of the patches for both contact bodies must be increased to resolve this problem. Contact surface smoothing. It is often observed for a contact forces are very spiky. The spiky contact forces generally produce large accelerations which enforces the numerical integration step size to be small. It generally takes very long time to simulate a system with a small step size. Therefore, the contact forces must be smooth. The smooth contact forces are obtained with fine triangular patches. However, it is also important to have a fine triangular meshes not to take too much time in contact search and detection.